All right, so welcome back to another Bitwig tutorial. And in this one, we need to talk about the latch device. So this is a pretty simple device. Now, if you work with the synthesizers, uh, you know what a latch is. You know, whenever you have a button on a synthesizer that says latch, whenever you, you know, you uh, turn it on uh, and you press a key, is going to sustain that key, is going to kind of uh, hold that key for you. Even though you're just not holding the key, it's going to latch it. So if I press a key, the latch device is going to hold that key for me. But if I turn this off and I'm going to show you this example, you know, just playing some dumb notes, I'm going to go and play it. The synthesizer sounds like this. Now, of course, you need to have some sustain in order to uh, sustain notes. You know, this is just part of the uh, synthesizer. But, you know, we are not sustaining notes. That's what the MIDI says, but we get that sound. Now, of course, the latch, what it's, uh, it will do, and has several modes, we're going to talk about this, that's why I'm making this uh, the tutorial. Uh, the latch is just going to hold the, key, the keys for us. So I'm going to go and play it. Right? It's just holding the notes. Pretty simple to understand. Now, of course, we have several modes. The first one is the chord, the second one is the toggle and then the velocity, and we have some, uh, you know, some things right here. So first one is going to be the this one, the kill and transport, and then kill me now. So I'm going to go and disable this one. So I'm going to go and play it, and it's latching, we know. And I'm going to stop the transport, and going to stop playing, and it's kill, you know, it just keeps latching the note. And the note keeps going on and on and on. And it's because it doesn't care, I'm st I stopped right here. You need to go right here and click on the button kill now. And that's, uh, you know, the only way where we can stop the latch. Just like, again, just a, maybe a normal synthesizer. You're going to need to turn it on, on and off. So, again, that, that's what it does. Now, of course, if you don't like this behavior, you just can click right here. And whenever you do stop on the transport, it's going to kill the, the latch. Which is, you know, pretty useful. Whenever you're, you're doing tracks, making tracks. All right, so let's go to the second example. So the next one, what you have is the uh, chord, you know, it's the, the, the chord mode. So on this one, you can do chords, of course. So if I go and play it, not that one. That's so pretty, but that's fine. It's okay, so we are playing some chords, right? Now notice right here at the bottom, it's telling you how many chords or how many keys you're latching. If this one is three, it's going to show you three, 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 and the last one is four notes. So it's going to show four of the last. Let me start from the beginning. Notice it's one, two, three, 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 and then four. Now, of course, this, the mono option, uh, it's very relevant right here because if you're playing chords and you have this enabled, it means that it will turn the latch into a kind of a monophonic synthesizer. So it will not do a chord. It will play a single key. Which key? The lowest one. So if I go to the MIDI and show you, it's going to play this one, this one, this one, and then, then this one. It doesn't care about this one because it's a, you know, you're turning it into kind of a monophonic uh, synthesizer. Now with the mono off, it's going to do chords. All right, so again, pretty simple to understand. Now, then you have the toggle and the velocities. And right here, I need to do some explaining. And for this one, I'm going to go to the next example, which is this one. So on this one, we are playing the same chord over and over and over again, right? That's the example. So if I go to the toggle, the toggle means that if you're playing a chord and then you play again the same chord, you're going to disable the latching. So I'm going to go and play it. Yeah, so that's what's going on. So we are playing this chord, it's latching, and then when we play the same chord, we kill the latch. And then we play it again, starts latching, and then we kill the latch. So it means that you're toggling uh, the latch whenever you play the same key. Right? Pretty simple. Now, of course, this is not going to happen if you press different keys. If I go to the next example, 
on the next one we are playing one key then another one then another one and then another one so if i do some playing notice uh, every time we pre pre press a new key is not killing the latch it actually keeps uh, the uh, previous key uh, it's still latching it notice that uh, the lows are still ringing while we play the other ones or the highs still play now when since we are looping when we go to the next round and we play the same keys just gonna turn them off let me just start again you get high the other one the other one is latching four notes and then we go back and disable it one by one because we are toggling right and since we are using a loop it's gonna go and do the same thing over and over turning them on and off as we play them right simple so it's a very simple device the thing is it's just a little bit weird to understand why the toggle and you know everything else so then you go to the next one to the next example the next example is going to be the velocity now of course right here the toggle works the same way different notes different chords same chords off and off but keeps latching the previous one right now of course i want to talk about the velocity right here so i'm going to go to the velocity and notice that you have a value right here so this is a threshold this works just like a compressor if the velocity of the keys are below the threshold which is 90 let's say uh, you can of course change this uh, it's not gonna latch so for example i'm gonna go right here to this midi uh the velocity of this one's this one is below 90 so it will not latch this one it will not even play it and this one it's uh, you know above 90 so this one will be latched i'm gonna go and just play it and this one is below and this one is below and this one is not below so i'm gonna go play latching Oh, I made a mistake. Actually, it's backwards. It's 90, the first one, and the last one, it's just 90. So I'm gonna go and do it again. I'm gonna go back here, and do some playing. Not latching. Not latching. Now, there's one funny thing right here. Notice that this one is also working like the toggle. So it's not latching. On, on, off, and then off. Because we are in a loop. So it's doing the velocity and the toggle at the same time, right? So it's nothing on, on, off, off. Right, so that's the velocity. Now, of course, right now we are in a loop. Maybe you're just, you know, playing a, a whole track and this is just not going to be toggling uh, anything unless you play, play the same keys. And if the case is that you want to do this, you're going to need to use the by court, of course. And one more thing before we, you know, we call, we call it a day on this uh, tutorial is that the latching mode, the latch has uh, the mono. Remember that it's always the low priority. It doesn't matter whatever you're doing right here. So I'm going to go right here. Notice that we are playing two keys. It is always playing one single thing because we are in mono. If I disable this we get a different thing of course always remember and check if the mono is enabled or disabled because maybe you're doing chords and it doesn't sound like a chord you always need to double check all right so that's it that's the um, the latch device remember of course to like and subscribe uh this is how we you keep the lights on by subscribing liking and of course check patreon uh you know because you know there are some cool things right there and uh see you on the next one